Hi, I'm Katie Most. I'm the production designer for The New Adventures of Peter and Wendy. Um, I'm actually from Los Angeles, which in this industry is a rarity. I talk to a lot of people and they're like, you grew up in LA? But it is true, we do exist. There are people born and raised here who still, who still live here. It was interesting. It was um, a lot of hanging out with friends by the beach, which is what you think growing up in LA should be. So I, I, I did do a little bit of that. Uh, so when I was a kid, I didn't really understand that not every movie takes place where you grow up. Because when you're watching movies as a kid growing up in LA, all the locations are places that you recognize, that you know. Um, and so, like watching Doogie Howser, everything took place in Brentwood or Westwood, which was right by my grandmother's house. And I would see all these different things that I recognized, and I thought, well, of course that's true. Everybody, it, everybody's experience of the movies is just places that they know already. Uh, so I sort of stumbled into production design by accident. I uh, majored in environmental analysis and design, which is not in film. I graduated in 2008 and the economy was very, very bad. And so I sort of floated from internship to internship, uh, <laughs> doing a lot of graphic design, doing model making for architecture companies, um, a lot of artsy things. Uh, and then I saw a post on the Guild fan page on Facebook that Felicia Day was looking for interns for her new project. And I figured it was, it was an art department internship and that sounded like something that I could do, uh, that it was making props and uh, figuring out set dressing and I was always an artsy craftsy kid so it seemed like it might work out and I, I started working at this art department and I absolutely fell in love with it. Every single day was something different. Every single day was this fun adventure of trying to solve a problem. I do have a few Easter eggs in the things I work on. Um, there's this squirrel sculpture that whenever I get to rent things from the Universal Studios prop house I always rent this one squirrel. And it's not even, it doesn't make sense in most of the things I, I've worked on. Um, I haven't gotten to put it into Peter and Wendy yet, but you will probably see it in season three. So my vision for the show has always been to make the world of Peter and Wendy some sort of mix between reality and fantasy. It's definitely not exactly as everybody's real life is. There are a lot of uh, sort of fun, quirky elements, but I do definitely want it to look like the real world. Well, my number one production design on a budget tip is to never overlook the dollar store. Um, a lot of the best things I have as just random pieces of set dressing are things that I've picked up over the years, either at a dollar store or a Goodwill. Um, you do have to go to multiple locations and multiple, uh, I mean, you, you can't just do Dollar Tree, you can't just do 99 cent store, you have to hit all of them and you have to be willing to go all over town. But um, it's sort of picking up things here and there that you think might be useful. When you see a good deal, grab it. It can live in your apartment for a little while and then eventually become set dressing and at some future point. The cast and crew has really become a family and that's been important to me.